I am now joined by the SSP and the DM of uh, uh, Bastar here with me, Mr. Vijay Dayaram, uh, Shalab Sena. Uh, the most challenging assignment today, in, I can tell you, amongst, the, amongst all the constituencies across the country, 102, uh, going to the po ballot on, in phase one, is this. I'm in the area, completely, un um, completely unpardonable terrain, most treacherous, spread across thousands of miles, close to some state's geographical area. Let me ask both the SSP and the DM who very gracefully have agreed to join me. What are the challenges, sir? What is the... I mean, first of all, has the polling thus far been peaceful? Welcome yes. to NDTV also. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, it, uh, I completely agree with you. Uh, it's completely challenging and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's an honor also to be part of this democratic process where we are actually strengthening the uh, nation building process. And uh, this part of India has always been a neglected part of India because of it, because of which we have had a lot of anti-social elements taking over. But over the years and with the sustained efforts of the uh, administration, the government, we have been able to uh, get, get through this, uh, get through this challenge uh, very uh, in a very sustainable manner and uh, today uh, we're going for the polls uh, for the Bastar uh, Lok Sabha constituency we have around 19 15 7 polling stations uh, where the polling has started so close to 2000 polling stations yes yes close to 2000 polling stations and the polling has started since 7 a.m it'll go on till 3 in some and we'll go on to, till 5 in some why, why 3 that's that's that cutoff is nowhere else in the country yes the, anywhere else in the country it's at least 5 p.m minimum yes because when we are actually sending in the forces and when we are actually sending in the polling parties it is it is estimated that they'll take at least one, one and a half hour to wind up all the process. And by the time we'll actually get them back to the, uh, the main, uh, this thing, uh, main uh, holding areas, it is expected they come back in the daylight time. So that is the reason we actually wind up the process by three. And uh, normally it is seen that people from the uh, interior areas and the village areas, they get the pulling done in the very early hours of the morning itself. So uh, that is the whole idea behind this. So, uh, and the young SP here, you know, the polling till 3 p.m., till 3 p.m., his heart will be beating very, pounding fast. Shalab, what is the challenge? Uh, the biggest challenge is the sensitivity of this area. As you know, this is a left-wing extremist uh, affected area. Uh, we have got a lot of security forces. We have deployed them in the polling booths also and in the area, for the area domination also. So the biggest challenge is to get the security forces back to their camps safely and to conduct the polling process without any hindrance, without any violence. That is the biggest challenge. Mr. Dayaram, this area, if my memory serves me right, I've been watching this area since 2007 and 8, uh, has never probably seen a completely violence-free poll. Are you hoping to conduct one this time? Uh, to get uh, yourself corrected also, and just to refresh my memory, uh, we had an incident-free elections in 2023 where we had... Uh, last to, year, that last, is. That, oh. the, the, the assembly elections which, which we just conducted. It was completely incident-free and I'm, I'm hopeful that we will not have any incident in this uh, elections as well. And we will we'll, we'll come out uh, in a flying class. And uh, how many, what is the total deployment of the security forces? What is the total area? Just to understand countrywide so that the entire nation gets the idea of the dimension and the challenge that we are currently seeing in this part of the country in the Bastar, uh, the heartland of the Naxal territory. Uh, so, as far as the district Bastar is concerned, we have got more than 50 companies of paramilitary forces. And if the whole uh, Lok Sabha constituency uh, of Bastar, uh, if we consider, uh, more than 350 companies have been deployed for security. So, that would mean roughly 35,000 men. That is, totally, that is only the secure, uh, paramilitary component. Otherwise, we have got uh, the district components also. So you can say roughly around uh, 40, 40, 45,000 uh, personnel have been deployed for peaceful elections. Sir, what is the polling percentage this far? Yeah, I, mean, I saw from right from the uh, beginning, you know, I went to some polling stations in the rural areas before 7 a.m. I saw very, you know, huge congregation. Yes. So till at this point in time at 10 a.m., what are the rough estimates that you can provide to our viewers across the country as to how far the polling has gone in Bastar and, you know, what is the polling percentage that we, you can aggregate? Yeah. Uh, the Bastar Lok Sabha constituency per se has around eight assembly constituencies spread across the whole of Bastar area. And uh, so far till 10 a.m. I have around 14.03 percent that is uh, estimated as per the polling percentage. And uh, last time what was the total, total polling percentage and, and are you hoping that it will surpass the last time which is that 2019 Lok Sabha polls I am comparing to? Yeah, 2019 Lok Sabha we had around 68 per, per percent of the voting percentage and I'm I'm just not just hoping, I'm certain that we'll cross our 68% this time. Okay, you're hoping for a better poll percentage. My final question to you, Salab, how much of, uh, you know, dispersal of the security forces is one thing. 
how much of it is a challenge that once you have EVMs with you, you know, EVMs have to be brought back to the EVM centers, safely guarded. How much of it is a challenge because then it becomes a, almost a logistical nightmare. The sun is setting. Polling parties have to return from some of the deepest and the remotest jungles of the country and uh, bring those EVMs safely back without any incident. How much of that is a challenge? My final question to both of you before I let you go. I'm sorry for holding you back. Uh, uh, that is why we have uh, curtailed the time limit for certain polling stations to 3 p.m. so that the polling parties reach the headquarters uh, within uh, stipulated time within the sunlight uh, being there. So uh, it is a big challenge. Uh, as, as I told you, all the security forces have been deployed for area domination ROP exercises also. Till all the polling parties are back to the headquarters, these uh, forces, these personnel will be deployed uh, for the ROPs, for the ADs. And we are hoping that because it's summer season also, so it will be slightly, the day will be longer. We are hoping that before daylight, we, we will get all the teams back to the headquarters. So I wish best of luck to you, you. from the side of NDTV, from the side of the electorate and the general population of this country. Thank you very much for joining NDTV. Thank you very much. I will not hold you back anymore. So this is the young SP and the DM of uh, Bastar. One of the most challenging trek and one of the most challenging area that is going to poll today. Uh, as, as they said, you know, nearly manning nearly 60,000 uh, 60, security forces ma ma personnel are trying to ensure a completely incident-free poll, also trying to surpass the polling percentage of the last time in Lok Sabha 2019. Back to you, Maria.